Hello, my name is Greg Genta, and I am a sales engineer with Fortinet. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate a new feature of Forti Authenticator. That feature is the single sign-on mobility agent for cloud-native Azure AD users and Azure AD joined computers. This is for organizations that are only using Azure AD and are joining their computer to an Azure AD directory, and they would like to use the identity of the users and the groups they are a member of in Azure AD in identity-based policies on a FortiGate firewall. Here are the requirements. You need to be running Forti Authenticator 6.5 or higher. You need to be running FortiClient 7.2, and you need to enable the single sign-on mobility agent option. There's three different flavors of FortiClient that you can use. You can use the full FortiClient that you would be using with your 40 EMS environment. If you don't have 40 EMS, then you can use the 40 client VPN setup, which is the standalone 40 client that does not require 40 EMS. Or you can use the 40 client FSSO mobility agent, which is a standalone version that only has the FSSO agent built into it. You need to be running Windows 10 or Windows 11 and a version of those operating systems that supports Azure AD join. And you need to have an Azure AD tenant. In this video, I am not going to show you the configuration or setup of this feature. I am just going to show you the end result. If you would like to see documentation on how to configure this, here are shortened links to documents that can help you set this up. Here is the user experience and the authentication flow. The user logs on to an Azure AD joined workstation. Next, the SAML session is transparently sent in the background to Azure AD. The single sign-on mobility agent retrieves the user identity. The single sign-on mobility agent shares username IP address with Forty Authenticator. Forty Authenticator retrieves the group information using OAuth. Forty Authenticator then sends the user identity to all the FortiGates it's configured to send this information to. Then on the FortiGate, you can use identity-based access policies to all the FortiGate services transparently without the user needing to re-enter the credentials. So let's see this in a demo. If you are unfamiliar with the Fortinet single sign-on mobility agent, I want to show you what it looks like for a regular Windows AD domain joined machine. So Fred Flintstone logs on. And we can look at the Forti Authenticator Fortinet single sign-on monitor session here. And we can see that Fred Flintstone logged on using Forti Client. And these are all the groups that he's a member of in Active Directory. On the FortiGate, this information is pushed to the FortiGate and we can see Fred Flintstone. And we can see the groups that have been sent to the FortiGate. Notice on Forti Authenticator, it shows all the groups that he's a member of, but there is a filter that you can put in Forti Authenticator that limits the amount of groups that are sent to the FortiGate. So these are the only groups that I'm sending to the FortiGate. So this is a standard Windows AD joined machine with an on-prem domain controller and a regular Windows domain. So now let's see this with the new feature on a Azure AD joined machine and an Azure AD user. So on the Azure AD joined machine, I log in with my Azure AD credentials. And we can see here, let me go to accounts and access a school or work network. And you can see that I'm connected to my Azure AD environment. So this is not joined to an on-prem Windows domain. This is joined to an Azure AD tenant. And now everything's going to look very similar. On Forti Authenticator, we can look and see the entry here, the name of the workstation and the IP address of the workstation. So Azure-Joined is the name of the workstation. We can see the domain that it's a member of. We can see Barry Allen logged in. We can see the sources for the client, and these are groups that are in Azure AD. So you can see that now for Azure AD joined machines, the single sign-on mobility agent can send the Fortinet single sign-on information to the FortiGate. So let's look at the FortiGate. So the FortiGate, let me refresh has Barry Allen, here's his IP address, and here's the groups that he's a member of. And now I can use the group information in firewall policies on the FortiGate to dictate resources that this user can access based on the groups that he or she is a member of. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please contact the Fortinet sales team for your area. Thank you very much.